Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Lou, and this is Metal Lens Reviews. What's up? So, if this happens to be your first time here, you're checking out my channel, you like what you see, thank you. Please do me that favor of like, comment, subscribe. As I mentioned before, it really helps me grow the channel, spread it to the masses, and of course motivates me to provide you guys with more content to watch. Alright, so what are we doing here? Well, we're going to be reacting to Knocked Loose, and this is an honest to God first reaction. So, now how did I hear about Knocked Loose? Well, they've been collaborating with a couple groups I listen to. Uh, Poppy, you know, a female, I don't even know what you would categorize Poppy in, rock, industrial, metal, I don't know. She did a few collabs with Bad Omens, and um, I don't think she's good. Um... But uh, besides the point, Knock Loose is on tour with, I believe, Slipknot right now, and has been on tour with bands that I normally would listen to. Now, their, I guess, rise to fame kind of coexists with groups like, you know, that are popular right now. Not comparing or not saying who's in the spotlight or trendy. These are just facts, you know, for me anyway. Uh, Sleep Token, Bad Omens, Knock Loose, you know... Uh, Assuming they're, you know, going to be a little more on the aggressive side just because of who their touring partners are. But I don't know. This, honest, honest to God, this is so random, this pick, actually. Because um, I never got around to listen to them. I feel like I should. You know, I did that with Bad Omen and Sleep Token, and, you know, I wind up liking some of their stuff. Not the biggest fans of the world, but, you know, I feel like I should be in the kind of in the loop, too. You know what I mean? Um, so, Knock Loose, I literally just typed in. To YouTube search, and I think this is like the third video down. So not quite recent, not quite old. Normally I'll type in popular songs, but this one got, I think, like over a million views, so I'm like, I'm in the right ballpark. Um, but it goes without saying, you know, uh, any fans of Knock Loose usually want to give me some information, you know, that's how this works, you know, um, I'm always all, all ears, you know. I try not to be ignorant, you know, and make assumptions that much so if you guys want to give me the lowdown when it comes to knock loose how they came to be and all that jazz please fill me in anyway uh this one's called don't reach for me it's a music video hopefully youtube won't block it but either way it, you know music videos are just supplementary it's always about the music um so yeah i can't wait i'm dying to hear what it sounds like you know or what they sound like all right guys uh once again this is knock loose with don't reach for me. Okay, all right, I was a little carried away there. Start freaking headbutting the computer. Uh, well, that's always a good sign. If it could make me want to headbang and do, you know, hair twirls, and it, it's on the right track. Um, okay, so not expecting that voice. Normally it's all, boo, 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 you know, really like deep growls, but whatever. It, you know, this genre, you could be high pitched, like Danny Phil from Creative Filth to, you know, death metal from DSI, like Glenn Benton kind of style vocals. Anyway, Knock Loose. All right, so definitely getting, I see why they're up and coming or already established <clears throat> at this point. Uh, very familiar, very listenable, um, kind of in your face. Came off 
so um, most of these kind of bands, you know, they it's, it's a structure. You know, this one's a little more random. Um, and what I mean by that is they came off with a nice hardcore kind of hate breed kind of you know breakdown, uh, which is I, I'm, I'm assuming throughout the song. Um, his voice really stands out to me. You know, it's very angry, almost kind of like a angry punk, you know, kind of feel to it, just with, you know, the metal vibe. So that that's great. That's, And I always say this, when you have such a saturated market filled with, you know, sometimes copy and paste bands, you need a little edge to stand out. Um, so that definitely makes them stand out, I think, not just the vocals, but uh, I noticed they go very technical, too. And you, you see that a lot, too. Uh, I've noticed, especially when it comes to metalcore, it's like a staple. If you're going to do metalcore, it can't be, you know, hardcore breakdown heaven. You got you to gotta spice it up a little bit. You know, you can't make a, a cheeseburger like, you know, the guy next door. You got to add some stuff, make it palatable and different. So you, you roll in that uh, customers, you know, uh, in this case audiences maybe a different group of audience you know you know um it's funny when i when i was you know when i i mean i still go to shows but like when they would have i don't know like hate breed which is a known hardcore act i mean they they, they you know overlap the metal territory i think anyway but you know you'll have on one instance you know mad ball which is a very known hardcore band uh, and then you'll have like, you know, Soulfly or whatever, you know, some metal band, you know, injected in there too. And I feel like in this case, uh, cause I'm almost certain they're opening, uh, or on the bill with Slipknot or any known bands, you know, that, that's how I found out they're, they're kind of on that rise, kind of like, uh, not in the same category by all means, but like how Bad Omens got their name, um, Sleep Token and what have you, the bands of that ilk who've collaborated with, you know, like-minded artists that Knock Loose have collaborated. Um, I forgot, uh, I, th I think what, I mean, obviously seeing their name on the bill to a lot of the bands that I would go see drew in, uh, interest. That and they collaborated with uh, Poppy, which, you know, Poppy did a song called Van with Bad Omens and that, you know, usually when you watch a video, another one's recommend it. And yeah, they were in that mix, so I'm finally getting around to doing that. But yeah, so far it's cool. It's heavy, you know. It's making me get in the vibe, and I like it. I think uh, uh, we're definitely off to a good start. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so, yeah, all right, now it's starting, I'm starting to see the picture here. Definitely how they kind of made it uh, up on the rise, and are definitely, you know, they definitely fit the bill of, like, well, I mean, any decent metal band today, you know, would definitely, you know, put it, I mean, because you, you want that, you want to diversify your group, but not too much, you know, when you're touring, uh, you know, introduce maybe your music to a different audience via the opening acts, you know. Um, but yeah, Knock Loose, uh, I, I like, I like how they mix things up. They, though, I mean, this is, I, I don't know what you would categorize this, I guess metalcore, right? Um, but they definitely come off more hardcore, 
this is definitely a, a hate breed kind of crowd type of vibe I'm getting. Uh, the breakdowns are sick, very in your face, very aggressive. His style of singing is very aggressive. Uh, it's just, it's you know, it's different. It, it stands out, and I, I think that's a win for them. Uh, they're technical, which I like. They're not afraid to do a lot of start and stop kind of uh, change-ups in the music. And like I said, you know, when you... You know, when you're up against a lot of competitors, you want to stand out, and this is definitely the way to do it. Um, yeah, I like it. You know, I'm just kind of in my chair right now, just kind of grooving to it and head banging. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, have I came across bands like this before? I sure have. Yeah, definitely. I think we all did. But, like I said before, each one of these bands that sound alike usually have something to change it up. Something to, it's like a hook but you got to be different from the rest of the pack to stand out, you know. Um, and these change-ups, these breakdowns that are not usual, and the vocals too, I think, also. Uh, I mentioned that already. But I think all those things I said definitely kind of give them that boost, and um, yeah, rightfully so. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> the end there all right so that was incredibly hard to stop <laughs> um I, I really enjoyed this i thought this was, this was cool like i said they definitely have a very more hardcore feel about them and you know i think that's great i think you need that uh, especially in this day and age where it's like a rat race to put yourself out there i mean obviously it's you know about the music you know for whatever reason if youtube doesn't let me show this i'm just gonna be talking over a you know blurred video uh, musically, yeah, it's 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 good. It's tech, like I said, it's technical. When it's technical, the breakdowns are there. The really raunchy grittiness of the band and those breakdowns really stand out to me. And it's cool. I could, this is very easy, easy, easy listening. I would definitely easy listening for a metalhead. I'm saying, and um, I see, yeah. I get, I get it. I get it why they're popular and, I guess, trending or whatever. Uh, and I totally get it why they would be on the bill and some you know, bigger acts or whatever. And I think they're doing fine. I think they're almost there. If they wanted to uh, headline you know, themselves, they could obviously do that. Um, uh, any fans listening to them, hey, listen, guys, if, uh, you know, like I said, fill me in here. I'm all about... You know, hearing what you guys have to say. You know, do you guys enjoy this song? Is there another song you want me to do? If you, I said, normally how I work this, I'll go through all the comments, which is a lot, and pick, you know, random songs, artists I previously reacted to that are doing well. Um, if you want to kind of jump ahead of the line, you know, I'll leave a link below at Buy Me A Coffee, and that's just another way of supporting my channel. Or if you want to write a little something, uh, maybe a song you want me to react to, I'll obviously get... You know, you know, I'll get to that first, especially if you uh, contribute something. Um, but, you know, no pressure. Um, anyway, yeah, knock loose. Uh, don't reach for me. I liked it. 
I, I do. I think, you know, they have a nice hardcore edge. Uh, obviously, everything's there. It's very, you know, I don't want to say standard, because that, that doesn't sound right. But, you know, that metalcore f familiarness is there. This is very recognizable. This would definitely be like in a Spotify mix of this genre. But I totally get it, you know, and I'm here for it. Like, you know, thank God, you know, bands like this are kind of coming through the ranks. You know, with so much competition, you got to find a way to stand out. And I think they do. And I appreciate that, you know, they kind of, because uh, they could have just went full on quick, fast, technical death metal. But no, they're slowing it down, bringing out that hardcore, you know, that East Coast hardcore feel. Uh, what have you, you know, like I get, I get reminiscent of Hatebreed when I listen to them a little bit. Um, but yeah, totally up my alley. I would definitely check them out. Um, I think Slipknot's coming in my area actually soon. Uh, like I said, they're one of the opening acts, I believe, don't quote me. But uh, yeah, I, mean, I would definitely check them out. Like I said, it's, um, it's not that different from what I would listen to, you know. You know, are they the most original band of the genre? No, but they have something about them. Some kind of um, charismatic lead that pushes them forward. And uh, I see that. I see, you know, how they got to where they're at right now. Uh, literally, like overnight, too. One minute, they're, you know, they're there. Uh, no one would, you know, give them a second glance. They're doing collaboration. I think that's what it is. You collaborate with known artists, you know, in different genres or the same genre. And you just kind of a fast track, you know what I mean? Then you really show people, you know, the meat and potatoes of your music. And, uh, you know, you sell the sizzle. And there you go. I said a lot there. All right. Uh, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you like the song? Let me do something else. Let me know. Uh, yeah, well, look, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, my friends, this is that part with a video where I say, I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace.